Um, now, you look, I'm just going to turn it on an angle so you can see what's actually going on with this card. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm not. Right, we've got about 10 minutes left. <laughs> so I'll pop that there. And okay. I am not going to talk. So tell, talk me through. First thing you need to do is stamp out, because they're all similar sizes, stamp one out to use as a template. And you can see, mark, you mark the corners. Yeah. Where if you want three or four or how many you want, you just mark okay. them. I, I only do these things by eye. I don't measure. Yeah. So that is going to be the back of the card. So now I'm going to turn it over right. and I'm going to stamp. I'm going to use gold ink pad on my plum tree. Okay, I can't see how this is going to work at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so I should just shut up and wait and see. <laughs> so it's just randomly stamping to create a nice background. All right. So you're on the back of it. <laughs> you don't but no, this is the front. Oh, it's going to be the front. I started on the back. Thank you. Now <laughs> I know. See, now I understand. <laughs> if I'd have just waited a little bit longer instead of yapping on. Be patient. Yay. There I don't know about go. you, but it's not one of my virtues. Patience. No. <laughs> if I've got any virtues, <laughs> that's definitely one that's sort of at the back of the queue. No, right. I just need to clean this off because I don't want to make a mat on my card. These are a bit of everything, these mats, aren't they? But they are. You, I don't know how we ever worked without them, no. to be honest. Well, you do bring it every, you do use them every time, don't you? Every single time, yeah. yes. Now I need my cutting mat. Okay. And I've got my steel edge ruler. Yeah. And my knife. Now where I've marked out the, the corners, I'm going to score, I'll cut through. And it's best to do it twice just to make sure that it has gone through. Mm -hmm. Now I need to do this for each window. This um, steel edge ruler, that's on your website most of the time as well, isn't it? It is, and it comes with the knife as well. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it always gives you such a pristine edge every single time, doesn't it? And you need the steel edge because if it didn't have it, you would just be cutting through the plastic. Yeah. So we're just cutting crosses. We are. I know. It's not very exciting. Yeah, but the end result is. Actually, if you've already fallen in love with the Steel Edge Ruler, check out the website. Because it's one of those things, again, that once you've got it, you'll wonder how you ever managed without it. And it's um, when you do log on, you're going to be amazed. <laughs> At everything that we've ever had from Stamp Addicts, you're going to be amazed at what there is for you to choose from. Um, and everything, you, because of crafting yourselves, you've always made sure that they are the most useful pieces. Yes. I mean, if, if it's not something that we're going to use a lot, then... You don't bother with it. That's it. Yeah. We don't. Right, so we turn it back over and we have our windows. Now, what I need to do is tear off the points right. on each one. So glad you've got time for this. I thought we <laughs> have to not see it. Yes, it, it can take a while. It depends. I mean, you saw some of the cards. Yeah. We've only done one window. One window is a nice effect. Yes. It's, it's, it's nice enough, certainly, to make a beautiful card with. I love this. <laughs> and we're seeing it all the way through. And again, this is something that we can use with our other stamps from the collection, can't we? That's Another. It. Yeah, you can do it on any size card and yeah. use any stamps. See, with your, with your family of Stamp Addict fans, they get new <laughs> ideas all the time. Your well, we, we do try to bring yeah. new ideas each time we come. So uh, do you just sit and work them out? <laughs> I mean, because I don't know where they come from. I always copy. <laughs> Well, I the sad thing is we have to travel the world to find them. Oh, it's such a hard <laughs> life. Such a hard life. Right, I've got this little wooden stick, and I'm just going to wrap it round and then curl it. Yeah. And that's how you get the... Just something thin. From your kebab. Yes. Your <laughs> kebab. Oh, what a good idea. And then you need to obviously do this to each and You don't flat. have to glue them or anything. No, you don't. No. No, I mean, this is a, a good thickness card. It's not too thin. Yeah. If it's a thin card, it will probably unravel. Very nice. 
And so I've got to do this to each window. Yeah. Well, you only need to show us one, though, don't you? You don't want to see all of them. <laughs> oh. Well, I when I to. <laughs> but you know you've got it all ready to go. You know you have. <laughs> and then with the same gold ink pad that I stamped with, you just brush it across, make it look a bit old. Yeah. And then do the same around all the edges. Just give it a sort of an antique finish. That's right. We yeah. don't like white edges. No. It just finishes it off so much better. Also saves you having to put peel-offs on as well, doesn't it? Because it's got such a nice finish to it. Yes. Yes, we don't right. peel -offs. Right, this piece of card has been cut to fit behind there. Yeah. Now what you do when you've created all your windows mm -hmm. is you put that over. Yeah. And with your pencil, you can either mark in the four corners or yeah. just a little bit top and bottom so you know where to stamp okay. your background. Lovely. So I've already marked this one. As I can see, <laughs> we've got about four minutes left, I think. Right. I'm so glad you got to see all this. And I'm using the nice purple yeah. colour. I'm just going to do all of that in one colour. And then you line it up with yeah. your marks. Just that one there. So we've got happy birthday in the middle. Now with the lanterns, I'm going to use the two colours. Yeah. Bit of purple first and then mm -hmm. the green because the green's quite dark. It's a lovely effect when you actually blend the two colours together. Do you know while you're doing that, I feel I ought to run everybody through the products because we are going to run out of time. So I'll just let you get on. First of all, we have the small kimono and the kanji cube set uh, with the exclusive butterfly background 922063 that's 21 pound 20 the second set was the large kimono with the dragon celestial dragon that's 922064 that's 20 pounds 50 then you had the plum blossom branch and the folding fans cube that's 922065 19 pounds 90 dancing kimono and the poem fan set 922066 and that's 21 pounds and 20 and then you've got Ico and uh, beneath a plum tree poem that's 922067 22 pounds 20 and don't forget the one that um, Sarah's working on at the moment which is the lantern with the happy birthday lanterns and happy birthday 922068 20 pounds 40 and the ink pads that they've been using so much 12 antique inks 922069 and 19 pounds and 90 pence right we're back to you I hope you're more or less more or less on the More ready side. <laughs> Lovely. Just putting some layers together. Coloured background. Now, here's the one I finished earlier. So I'm going to pop this on my card first. With the trio. A bit fond of that. Oh, okay. Okay. Fingers and thumbs. It's because we're running out of time. I know, it's because I'm, I'm hassling. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> right, pop that on there. Now on the back of this, I've put some foam tape to give it the, yeah. the depth of the window. Lovely. Actually, while you're doing that, I'll just I'll just get Vicky to come and join us. <laughs> now here's where I really wish <laughs> you'd got a box to stand on. <laughs> <laughs> Because now everybody at home knows what a cart horse I really <laughs> am in real life. <laughs> My mum always said good things come better in small packages. And I always found that a bit annoying because I'm so not a small <laughs> package. You're done. I'm finished. You're finished. Isn't that fabulous? I love that technique.